well, let's get down into this. Let's yeah. get down into the, you know, into the nitty gritty. Now, uh, like we mentioned before, the 23 volunteers were acquired. So Andrews pulls them all together on April 7th and begins to brief them, telling them what he expects them to do, how they're going to go about doing certain things. Right. And uh, he tells them right off the bat, you're going to be in civilian clothes. You're not taking any rifles with you. You can take a pistol, but I'm warning you, don't use it unless you absolutely have to. Right. It's a last measure kind of a thing. And uh, for those of you that you know don't know that much about um, you know the laws of land warfare or the rules of land warfare, if you're dressed in civilian clothes, especially at a time like this, you would be treated as a spy. They could charge you for espionage, which means they can execute you. Uh, you know, if you're wearing a uniform, in theory, you're not going to be executed. You just be held as a, a prisoner of war. When the war is over, you go back home. Hopefully, hopefully, you know. Um, that being said, these guys know that's not an option for them. They're nah. in civilian clothes, so they're not getting they're not getting any fair shake when it comes to being treated like a you know. A uniformed soldier could be a one-way ticket mm -hmm. very likely very likely is going to be a one-way ticket and as a cover story Andrews instructs them that you know if they're questioned they're gonna say that they're coming from Kentucky mm -hmm. with the idea of joining the Confederate Army right like that's their cover story all right uh, but <laughs> all these guys are from northern states so you know, they're not going to have the southern accent. I know Kentucky really isn't known for having a, a southern accent. But still, that being said, you, you know, you right. really got to be careful down south because they're using that accent as one of the ways to determine whether you're friend or foe. Absolutely. You know? They're not going to all march together. Andrews tells them, listen, we're going to split up into small groups, two, three, four guys. You're going to get across enemy lines by any means, whatever you can, you know, figure out that you can be successful in, whether that's walking the whole way, whether that's taking some kind of a uh, river transport, whether that's hopping on the back of a wagon or, or whatever you can think of, yeah. right? And successfully get away with doing, that's how you do it. And breaking up into small groups is actually an excellent tactic for this kind of stuff. Up in the, you know, up in the more northern territories in Afghanistan, and we, I mean, even down by us, they would do this, but it, you can find videos right. of this online. Right. Uh, specifically, I'm thinking of like the Battle of Wanat. So up, so up in the um, Weigal River Valley, there was a, a large attack on a a U.S., you know, it's supposed to be a platoon. It was actually a platoon minus, so it's a little less than a full platoon. Mm. Um, but a U.S. Army platoon had gone in to set up a, an outpost, a, com a combat outpost, you know, a new cop. And, um, you know, a, a detachment of like 200 Taliban ends up attacking them. And when the Taliban were making their m maneuver to that position you know they had to come over mountains and, and and travel all kind of different ways to get there instead of all marching together and being obvious to all these you know drones and um unmanned air you know aerial observation that we have going on over there they would break up into small groups two three four guys and they would make their way to the target that way all taking different routes everybody's doing it and they're blending in too if yep. they are seen it doesn't look like anything unusual you know they're not carrying rifles on their backs they have everything hidden you know yep. so that's that's the same thing Andrews instructs this, you know, his party of raiders essentially to do. Um, they have a, a time window though, because like I had mentioned earlier, you know, General Mitchell is planning on attacking Huntsville, Alabama on a certain day. Right. And right. They and their 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 plans have to coincide time frame wise. Yeah. So Andrews tells his guys, You have four days to get from here to Chattanooga. Four days. That's our schedule. If you get there early, great. Hang out. Wait. Yeah. You know, stay out of sight, out of mind. Get a hotel. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, but don't be late. You yeah. know, don't be late. Yeah.